joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. And we have made our voice heard. The whole world have seen it. The zoo themselves have seen it. That we are standing 101% behind Mazen and they can come sun, come rain. No matter what they do. We are not part of any political nonsense they are talking about. What we want is the freedom of the Biafran people. What we want is the release of our Supreme Master Nandekan, unconditional release of Master Nandekan. We have held him enough. And if they refuse tomorrow, Shukwa Kukabiyama knows how to deal with them. They are going to face what they have never seen before. If they refuse to let Mazen Nandekan go tomorrow, they are going to see another side of the Biafran people. And every one of us has to prepare ourselves. As I have said before, it is no longer the time to say who gives order and who doesn't give order. Today we know who has inspiration. Since Chukwu Kukabiyama has given our Prime Minister that inspiration to always say the right thing at the right time, we have to key in into it and obey it whenever it's strong and come. It doesn't matter whether you like him or you don't like him. Whether you obey him or you, whether you follow him or you don't follow him. It doesn't matter where you belong or who you listen to. This is about our Supreme Master Nandekano. This is about the freedom of the Biafran people. Your own freedom, my own freedom. Any suggestion that is being made to free Master Nandekano or to free Biafra must be supported by every meaningful Biafra. It must be supported. And I bet you, very soon, all these obedient idiots and all these all these one Nigerianists and the politicians, they will fall in line. Those of them that still have the ball. Because some of them have committed so much crime that shame will not even allow them to fall back. Some of them are being held by shame. But I will advise them to overcome their shame and have a new turn a new leaf. If you are a politician, you are a one Nigerianist, wherever you place yourself. Turn your new leaf. Remove that pride and shame. Turn a new leaf and begin to support Biafra. Because that is the only hope for every one of us. Whether you are a politician, whether you call yourself a one Nigerianist, whatever you name yourself, they know you as a Biafra. If you like, write one Nigeria in your forehead. They know you as a Biafra. If you like, Carry one Nigeria in your forehead. Use it and so close and continue to walk about. They are going to tell you to your face, man, you are a Biafra. And that is what exactly what they are doing to the politicians today. Including the idiot called himself Dave Umahi. These are people who supposedly claim to be educated. But their fraud, their criminality have made their eyes close. That they cannot be able to understand differentiate between good and evil. They have been they have gone deep, deep into evil to the extent that they can no longer differentiate between good and evil. If not, they are supposed to know that these people treat every one of us the same way. It doesn't matter. That very moment you proscribed IPOB, that was when you gave them the authority over you. From the moment the politicians came together and the Hanese they came together and proscribed themselves. That was when they lost every legitimacy. That is when they lost respect everywhere, right, left, and center. They lost respect. The zoo does not respect them. They don't have respect from their own children. The world does not respect them anymore. No authority respects them. And that is why you see they are tossing them from pillar to pole. Today you look at them crying online. Ojun Zokal is crying to the other side. Uh, what is the uh, Andy Oba is crying to the other side? Dave Umahi is crying to the other side. Lucha Sukrocha is crying to the other side. Every one of them. 
some of them have disappeared completely without any sound anymore. The grandmother is crying in, in London. You see how they scattered them? You see how they disturbed them? Today, there is no single voice, no single voice, political voice from the Afro land. No single political voice from the Afro land, not even, not even half. Not even half. And you are still there calling yourself a one Nigerianist. You are still there hoping that it's going to be better. You have seen their cabinet. You have seen the cabinet of the new government that is coming in. You saw it. They are not hiding it. The cabinet is in the open before everybody. In case you have not seen it, go and look at the cabinet they are forming. Look at the appointments they are giving. Already, the drunk baron, who they want to make a president, have already showed you what, how he's going to treat you. The case of late Muhammad Buri was even better. He let Muhammad Bari, he waited to go into power. Once he was in a and he began to say he's not going to treat people who gave him 5% and only gave him 75%. But in this one, he has not been inaugurated already, but he has started showing you already what he's going to do. Not just showing you, he has started doing what he wants to do against you. That was why when he told you that he was going to continue from where Buhari stopped, and you'd be wondering. He want to continue from where Buhari stopped. He want to continue. And to show you how idiotic all these politicians are, the person who was complaining about it, who said, who, who was saying in one of in live video, that how can a human being say he wants to come and continue the legacy of Buhari? It is only a fool that can come out and say that he wants to continue pursuing the legacy of Buhari. But that same person who said that word, Wike, today, Wike is supporting the same legacy of Buhari. Wike, who made that statement, Big Mouth Wike, who made that statement today, he is still, he's supporting the legacy of Buhari. He was one of the people who rigged the vote for the, rigged, for, rigged them in. He was one of the person who made it possible for Tunubu to succeed. At the same time, this is what President Anidio was opening his mouth to talk from both sides of his mouth. That is how untrustworthy these people are. You can't trust any politician in that Zulka Republic. You can never trust any one of them, regardless who they are, regardless their tribe, their nationality, their religion. You, as long as someone comes out and identify as a politician, run away for your life. Run away. Politicians of all level, from your local government to presidency, if you have anybody there, run for your life. These are a bunch of criminals who have already made up their mind to continue to cause mayhem and havoc in the life of the people. They have chosen their path, and they can't. The moment you call yourself a politician in, their, in that very contraption, the moment you pronounce yourself a politician, you have sold your soul. You have sold yourself. Look at some of them who we are talking before. Who we are talking about Mazin and Nekan. Only for us to realize that we are just saying that because of their ambition. They were only mentioning Mazin and Nekan because of their selfish ambition that they had. They thought that they were going to use Mazin and Nekan to win the heart of the Bia France. And after that, they do what they want to do. Today, they try the governorship. After they have lost governorship, have you hear them speaking anywhere? Did you hear them talk anymore? They disappeared. They disappeared. It seems as if they don't exist anymore. But these are people who were making noise right, left, and center. Wherever you go, they make noise. They use Mazen Nanekano's name and keys to gather viewers and crowd for themselves. They use Mazen Nanekano's keys to bring sympathy to themselves. And they thought that that is all it takes. That's why I tell their friends. You do not believe people because they mention Mazen Nandekano's name. You do not believe people because you see them playing the prayer of Mazen Nandekano or the brokers of Mazen Nandekano. You don't believe people because they told you, oh, Mazen Nandekano is our leader. He's our supreme leader. No. You believe people for what they do. The actions they take on the ground. That determines if they are the flow of Mazen Nandekano or not. There's no way you can be fighting against the legacy of Mazen Nandekano. And yet, here are you, calling him your leader. 
just like somebody who is defending Martin Nandekan. Martin Nandekan, as you know that Martin Nandekan is fighting for self determination and yet you want to contest your constitution in the politics. Martin Nandekan told you he has nothing to do politics. There will be no election. And you said, let there be election. You are opposing everything that Martin Nandekan stands for. And you come back, you play his video, you use his pictures, you use his name to gather sympathy to yourself. You can only deceive few. You can't deceive everybody. And at this state that we are, any Biafran that is deceived, you deceive yourself. Don't blame anybody for that deception. Any Biafra today that has been deceived, you are the one that willingly deceived yourself. Because the, the truth is as open as the air. The truth today in this very restoration of Biafra is as easy and open as anything. It is very easy to see. All you have to do is to watch what people have been doing from the day Mazin Nanaka was kidnapped up to today, about two years plus. Go and check. The person you are defending who wants to tell you he's going to do this and do that, go and check what has he been doing for these two years plus that Mazin Nanaka has been in captivity. What has he put on the table? What achievement to his name? Mention one thing you can call that you can say this one to your name. Every one of them that is making noise. If you cannot find anything attached to them, run for your life. Even if you can't find anything, just check and see how have they been able to protect the legacy that Mazin Nana kind of left? How? This is where the people, some of them, we, we are so busy destroying legacy of Mazin up to the extent of trying to remove our hero's day. They try to remove our hero's day. And our prime minister stood his ground. Say it will not happen. And when they saw that they can't be able to do that, and the Biafran people are supporting 100% with the man, that it will not happen. What did they do today? They are announcing the hero's day. After our prime minister have already made the announcement, they announced it again. What does that, does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. These are people who know the right thing to do, but they refuse to do it. And when you do it, they get angry. When you do it, they get angry. Not because you are doing the right, the wrong thing, but because it is not them that are doing it. That is their problem. Today, they wouldn't support the seat at home to free Mazen Nanekano simply because it is not them that called for that seat. Not that the seat at home is wrong. It is not that the seat at home, for the seat at home to free Mazen Nanekano, it's not a wrong thing. That is the best thing you can do for Mazen Nanekano. That's nothing else you can do. You can't take God to go to, to uh, Asrock to free him. You cannot take a gun to go to a bomb a DSS. There's nothing you can do. Civil disobedience is the only thing you can do to air your own opinion and tighten the grip on the government. So when we call the sit at home, the sit at home was the right thing to do, but they could not support it simply because they were not the one that mentioned it. That is their only reason. They refuse to support it. And the most annoying thing is that they are not going to initiate it. They know they are not going to initiate. They don't have that IQ. Their brain will not get there because they are focusing on something different. They are focusing on their personal interest, their selfish interest, and their monetary gains. They will not think twice to bring out solutions on what to do or how to embark on one civil disobedience or the other to free money. They wouldn't do that. But when somebody sit down and bring out a strategy, they fight it. Not because it is, it is wrong, but because they were not the one that brought the strategy. And look at the one they did in Abia State. Yeah, they took the life of Biafran, but almost 30 people were shot. Exposed Biafran people. And this one is another disobedient to Mazin Nane Canon. That is very rally. That very protest you see that Abia State. A disobedient to Mazin Nane because Mazin Nane Canon have said it openly that no Biafran should protest in Biafran land. Mazin Nane Canon said it. He doesn't want any Biafra to protest in Biafra land for any reason, no matter what. You don't have to protest. He said it to us. He said it on his broadcast. No Biafra should protest in Biafra land. But what did they do? They went and gathered people against the order of Mazin Nane Canon. Not only coming out, they went and began to call them, them ESN. They attacked them ESN. Gave them white. And many people lost their life. 
And after that incident, did you hear them take any action? Did you see them do anything? Did you see them really have fight for those people who got injured and nothing was done? Those are the kind of decisions they, they take. Destructive and destructive decisions that affect the life of innocent people. But when the right decision is on the board, they will not support it because it is not coming from them. Even when they know that they don't have the IQ to get that solution. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter whether you support Biafra or you don't support Biafra. Biafra is going to come. In 2023, that is our mandate. We have given ourselves a time frame. And that is how serious people work. You give yourself a target. From this time to this time, this is what I'm going to do. And you do it. And we have given ourselves that target that in 2023, we are going to make sure that Biafra is being restored. And the Prime Minister of Biafra Republic of Benin, Mazi Simon Epa, and spokesperson of Biafra, is standing on that wall. He didn't only just make that statement and relax. He is working tirelessly day and night to see and to pursue that target and get it. He's working tirelessly to make sure that we got that target. And I can bet you, a lot of achievement have been made already. Except for those who are in denial, except for those who are not in line, except for those who are not paying attention. A whole lot of achievement have been made. And I can tell you that if I hear that Biafra is coming in 2023, I believe it 101%. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. As we are working, Chukwu Kukabio himself is working and laying foundation for us. Chukwu Okami is creating opportunity, making ways on how it's going to be actualized. That is why Mazen Nande can remember his word when he said that Biafra will come in a such a way that you will be surprised. It will come in such a way that people will look and say, oh, it is only Chukwu Okami that did this, not man. It will come in such a way that only Chukwu Okami will take glory. No man born of a woman will take glory. It is going to happen. Take it or leave it. Whether you agree or you don't agree, this is something that is going to happen. The freedom of Biafra is imminent. We are going to be free in this 2023. So wherever you are watching me, remember tomorrow is the final day that Mazen Nandekana is coming to court tomorrow. So before you go to bed tomorrow, tonight, please pray for our student Mazen Nandekana. Call on Chukwu Kukabiyama. Whatever you worship, whatever you pray to, call on that very power to make sure that Mazen Nandekana goes home tomorrow. I'm not telling that Mazen Nandekana should win his case. Mazen Nandekana have won his case. What we are saying that Mazen Nandekana should walk free and go home. So put Mazen Nandekana in prayer. Put him in your prayers. Any way you can pray. Whatever you worship. Whatever God you can call. call. But for us, dear friends, we have our trust in Chukwu Kukadiyama. Purimi Henine. The Almighty God in heaven. Only him and him alone we have our trust in. And we believe by tomorrow. He is going to do his work once again. And our Supreme Leader Mazen Nande cannot be free. I appreciate everyone that have paid attention to this very broadcast. And we'll continue tomorrow as we watch what is going to be the outcome tomorrow with the hope of having a positive outcome. No matter whatever the enemy does, we will never lose our faith. We know that the will of Chuku Kabyan will happen tomorrow. So I appreciate you, any place you're watching from. If you're watching from Biafra land, please share to your neighbors, share to family and friends, share in use your WhatsApp group where you belong. Share it so that people can be able to get across. May Chukwu Kukabia Magad and protect all the Biafra people, all the Ududua people, all the Middle Bethans, all those that are genuinely seeking for freedom. May Chukwu Kukabia Magad and protect every one of you. May Chukwu Kukabia Magad and protect all our media warriors. Guard and protect all the Omoada who are working day in, day out. Guide and protect all the members of ESN, all our military men on the ground. Guide and protect the BNL and their leader. May Chukwu Okukama continue to guide and protect and protect all our families. May Chukwu Okukama guide and protect our Prime Minister, Master Simon Epa, wherever he is. May Chukwu Okukama take absolute control of his life. Continue to increase his wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Continue to inspire him, give him more strength and power. To continue to march on until we get to the promised land. May Chukwu Kukana continue to guide and protect our Supreme Namazi Nandekano. Tomorrow is a day of victory. 
Chukwu Okokabia Ma will move, move ahead of him and clear the road. Chukwu Okokabia will move ahead of Mazin Nandekano tomorrow and clear the road. He will walk out free. The enemy can no longer hold him back. Chukwu Okokabia Ma. From tonight, begin to position your angels around him. Begin to make a case for him. Begin to make revelations for him. Begin to touch every heart that is going to see the that call tomorrow. Begin to speak on his behalf. Begin to activate things that need to be activated. That tomorrow we will have a very positive result. Amazing man, cannot will walk home. That is what we want. No weapon formed or fashion against the Biafran people shall prosper. No weapon formed or fashion against our prime minister shall prosper. No weapon formed or fashion against our supreme leader, Mazin Nandekano, shall prosper. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. And remember, I will see you tomorrow when we are going to celebrate our victory. Thank you and stay safe. Bye-bye.